Scott Oster and welcome on the Troy Chamber Board. One of your distinct advantages with the Troy Chamber is opportunities to connect with top business leaders, including members of the board. Continue on to learn more. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Marty Orlowski with the McNish Group. We're an independent insurance agency with our rural headquarters in Royal Oak, Michigan. We used to be in Troy, but we moved to Royal Oak a few years ago. Uh, we are a full-service insurance agency, so for home and auto, for business, life insurance, health insurance. Uh, and from a business standpoint, we insure a couple of publicly traded companies, some worldwide companies, all the way down to the single business owner. Marty, what do you like to do in your free time? In my free time, it's usually be sports-related. I love to play golf. I'm on a basketball league every once in a while. I'll play flag football. Um, my son, he's eight years old, he requires that I get outside and play sports with him. Fortunately, I had a son that loves to play sports, as I do. Um, you know, with that, I've been married for 12 years uh, next month to my wonderful wife, and we have a son that's eight and a daughter that's six. Marty, what do you miss most about being a kid? Um, you know, just the not having to worry about the safety of kids as much as you do now. You know, it was the old thing of uh, be home when the street lights are on. That was great, and just getting together with friends, just making up a game, being carefree, not having to worry about you know what's going on tomorrow and what we're going to be doing. Just having fun in the moment and uh, not having any other worries. That was the best part about about being a kid. Marty, what was the first thing you bought with your own money? <sighs> with my own money, the the first large purchase I can remember as a child. Uh, my son's making his first communion tomorrow, and I took my first communion money and purchased a BMX bike from my cousin. Uh, it was an important thing for me to buy that. He was selling it. Uh, he had all these trophies all over his house from when he raced that thing, and it was the chrome molly. It's a mongoose chrome molly, all chromes, beautiful. All the other kids loved it, so I was able to purchase it because I obviously knew my cousin, and I, that was my first purchase, and I still have it today and ride it when I ride bikes with my family. Marty, which is the one television character that you simply adore? I love the show Seinfeld. I could watch that over and over, and I still watch that show over and over when it's on TV. And my favorite character on that show is Kramer. He's just goofy and crazy and always has something silly going on. And uh, when I was younger and had hair, it was curly like his, and I'd wear it kind of high at times. Not that high, but um, it, that character is tremendous uh, as the character in Seinfeld. And, and again, that's just a, a fantastic show that I love watching still to this day. Marty, what story does your family always tell about you? The most common story I can remember is me as a, a young child. There was a store near our house growing up called the Open Pantry. And my brother, who's six years older, and my cousin, who lived uh, right next door to us, they would always go to open pantries. They're going to go get something. So apparently, as a youth, I wanted to be one of the guys and go do that. So the story is, somebody would ask, hey, where's Marty at? And apparently, I was in my diaper on my tricycle pedaling down to the open pantry. Fortunately, I made it down there. It was only a block away, and I was safe. Because again, we talked about the, you know, the safe time growing up that, that used to be there. And that's the story they talk about most. So um, my brother even used it at my wedding uh, speech that he gave about determination and everything else. I don't know about that, but uh, I can just picture myself in my diaper with red curly hair, tri you know, triking down the block to the open pantry. So that's the story they tell that does embarrass me and 